Hey guys, welcome back. Orbomb here, bringing you another TCGO video. Today we're gonna be playing something a little bit more fun. Uh, today I plan on doing like you know, you guys know I'm trying to do these ten straight days of videos, right? Well, I got called into work like an hour and a half earlier than usual, which would have given me enough time to like record a really good video usually i like to make sure i get like competitive whenever i play like a fun or a good deck i like to make sure there's like like three good battles like i cut out the bad ones but today i want you know what? since i got called in and i have to keep up the schedule i decided you know what we'll just play like a fun deck something a little bit less serious but you can still win games and that is a lowland duck trio today we're gonna make this a nice long raw video hopefully no longer than 45 minutes we will see but we got a lowland duck trio here Alone Duck Trio is pretty cool. 60 HP Pokemon, which sucks for stage one. But it has a really cool attack in Gold Rush. Discard any number of metal energy cards from your hand. Uh, this attack does 30 damage E for each of your discard discard Pokemon discard energies in this way. So we're gonna be spamming that attack and like playing Pokemon to support this guy. But before we get into the video, why don't you guys consider dropping a like if you guys enjoy uh PTC Joe content? Um, if you guys want to, that is as well as subscribing. We are a hundred, we're less than 150 subscribers away from hitting our 3k. 3k subscriber goal try and hit it before march 4th which is my birthday so let's get to it if you guys don't mind go ahead tell your mother go tell your dog go tell your uncle twice removed tell them about the aura bomb and the aura army <laughs> all right let's get right into it so we got a low and duck trio here we're playing a, of course a 4-4 line with a spelunk which is a fun word to say try it spelunk diglet oh sorry about that guys we're playing with the Spelunk Diglet. Look at the top three cards of your deck and put them back in any order. It just helps with consistency. Um, and that's kind of what we're going to focus on right now. We have a some cards to support it. I'm, I, got, I got, sorry, I got really flustered because somebody came into my room. But, <laughs> all right, we're back, we're back, we're back. We're back on business. All right, we're back in business. All right, so we're playing some cards to support it. We are playing a 1-1 one, one lineup from Bombi. Bombi's really cool early game. You can use the Honey Gatherer attack. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for two basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand, and shuffle your deck. That is pretty dope to me. Uh, it gives you a chance to uh, get your energies out of your deck early game. And, of course, we have to play with the... Beautiful 30 HP, beautiful. There's a lot of low HP today. <laughs> a lot of low HP today, but that's fine. Uh, Cause Grimbami has 70. <laughs> well, one one line because we really want to focus on this late game. The Star Used Army, a 40 HP basic. And look at this. We got we got 30, 40, 50, and then we we don't we skipped 80, but we have 60, 70, 90. <laughs> But we're playing with Starman today. Ideally, this is what we use late game. We can set up two of them because Space Beak is really cool. Discard a card from your hand. If you do, put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. So that combined with Mount Cornet means if we get all like the stadium and two of these out, we can get six energies from our discard pile to our hand every turn, which is going to help us immensely late game because with a choice band, we can hit 210 with Gold Rush, which is really, really cool. So that's going to be the goal today. Uh, everything else is kind of support. We are playing uh, three Evo Sodas because all of them. Stages, uh, basics, or stage ones, besides, of course, Lele, which we are playing two of just to get our Bridgets. Uh, two Field Blowers because Garbodor. Uh, one Stretcher to get our Pokemon back, which I ended up finding I really, really needed <laughs> uh, in yesterday's little stream where we played it for a couple minutes. Four Ultra Balls and four Mount Cornets, of course. Um, two Bridgets because Bridgets are Bridgets. A uh, three, 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 three line of all of those Sycamores, all those supporters, I mean, Sycamore, Cynthia, and and Guzma. Uh, four choice band and 12 metal energy real quick deck profile but there's really nothing much to it but anyways uh, we're gonna go ahead and find a couple of games and hopefully we can find some good ones ideally right and maybe we don't get destroyed by our super low hp it's really annoying having 60 hp because claw slash like decimates you from dusk main to Krasma, and uh, you have to hit 190 against it which is really hard to do unless you hit that 210 number Also, sorry if I keep getting interrupted. I'm waiting for my family to leave, but like I have to record this now. <laughs> so if everyone keeps yelling my name and you guys hear background noise, that is why. Uh, oh man, it would be cool, so cool if we had a basic. Actually, it wouldn't have been. Like look at our two of. Ugh. Actually, I'm glad we're. I'm glad we're mulliganing. I'm really sad that we're not going first though. <laughs> going first is kind of ideal in this deck. Cause you gotta evolve all your stupid low HP basics, so something will probably be knocked out. And leading with uh, <laughs> leading with this is not ideal, not ideal whatsoever. We don't even have a draw supporter, so we're actually in a really bad spot right now. We have an ego soda, um, so like maybe that's something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. 
Ooh, and uh, there's 200 XP Pokemon, so we have to get our perfect board set up to knock this thing out. I know what he's playing. It looks like he's playing like a Metal Box deck, maybe like Soul Valley. We'll see. And of course, Rocket Fall does knock out our Duck Trio, so that's really exciting. Don't you guys think so? I think so. <laughs> We're going to Spelunk this turn, though. We're gonna get out a star you and two diglets we have one star you prize so we're gonna have to hopefully get that other star you um <clears throat> luckily we can retreat here and we're gonna spelunk oh is it free retreat oh i didn't know that well that's annoying <laughs> that's super annoying uh we want sycamore uh i'm gonna draw those cards regardless but i want sycamore so we can oh wait a minute Oh, does that mean I have to... Oh, no, I'm going to top deck the Sycamore, and then I can Evo Soda, attach a Choice Band, and then Sycamore. Yeah, that works. That works. That works out pretty well. All right. This thing is going to be able to start blowing me away because everything gets okoed <laughs> because it's sad. But we have Rescue Stretchers. So hopefully, we can abuse that. We're going to be able to put, off some, put up some damage on this thing, but not enough, probably. We'll see. Uh, I think early game, I want Rimbombi. Do I believe in the heart of the drawing? I don't know if I do. I'm, I have a higher chance of drawing Duck Trio than I do Rumbombi though. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for Rumbombi first. Then we'll do this. And then we'll Sycamore. Whoops, almost messed up my audio there. Also, as you can tell, I have super morning speed voice, like really low, really, really crackly. I apologize. <laughs> hey, see what I, what I tell you. It's actually kind of nice. Uh, do we have any energies in the discard pile? We do not. So we can get off some damage on this thing. Uh, we can hit him for, I think, knockout, honestly. I think we have enough if we use our Rimbombi. We have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, we're one short, I think. Oh, man. I think. Because we hit 200, we have to have 180. Yeah, we're one short. That's unfortunate. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have went into this thing then. I will thin the deck out, though. We'll honey gather here. I'll put two in the discard pile just for the sake of uh, using Mount Cornet, potentially. I don't want to play this down yet. I'll, I'll use, I'll save it for the stadium. But now I have to Sycamore next turn. So maybe it's in my best interest to use up all my energy so I can Sycamore and he doesn't end me. But I have to only have four, right? That's the goal. So yeah, let's just get rid of four. Because right now I hit for one, two, three, four, five, which is 150, 180. I am one energy short, but I'll put four down there. I think that's my best play, because it's easy for me to get four energies out of the discard pile, but uh, getting more than four right now without a Starmie is pretty bad. Yeah, look at that. Ah, oh, we're ten short, just one energy short. That's why I want to play two uh, Rimbombies, but Amanda in yesterday's stream was like, you gotta take out a Rimbombi, because it's bad. And I was like, you're bad. And then, uh, yeah, I took it out, because I'm bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's a good idea. It was, I promise. I, prom I really hope the mic is picking me up. It's looking like I'm speaking real quiet, and I apologize if I am. But we do get a knockout next turn. Uh, I wish this was a... Oh, it is? Oh, we can hit it with a Choice Banded Pollen Shot and knock it out, bro. Alright, that's the goal. <laughs> that's the new goal. Choice Banded Pollen Shot. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. That'd be funny. That'd be really funny if we pulled it off. <laughs> I'm not even going to flex. That'd be hilarious if we pulled it off. Alright, we're going to try to get that Choice Band here. Oh, yep, I told you, so Valley. What'd I say? What? Is he gonna retreat here? <laughs> That'd be really funny if he did. He'd retreat for me, bro. Retreat, you You wanna? You don't wanna give up two prizes. It's gonna happen next turn. Dude, I'm getting that choice banded pawn. Do you resist? Uh, you don't resist, fairy. Uh, choice banded pawn shot's happening. It's happening, bro. It's gonna happen. Like, don't you fret. Don't you dare fret, bro. Oh, we even got an Ultra Ball. I have to drop him out Cornet for it, but I think it's worth it. We can, we can draw more later. I need my uh, I need my duck trios, and hope I can get another diglet off the sycamore. And if I can attack with, uh, I think I'm going to attack no matter what with Rimbombi, because it just feels like the smarter play. If I get choice band, and we got the choice band, we can stretch it here, get some babies back. Uh, hmm, is that the right play? I feel like it might be. I'm gonna get back. I think we have what. Should have plenty of duck trios. I'm gonna get one Diglett back. I didn't get Mount Cornet though, which sucks. But I will get my uh, Honey Gather ability off. 
last two energies, but then I can sack this thing off in peace. Ideally, I can get more, um, more Diglets, but it doesn't look like it's possible. We'll Pollen Shot for Knockout, though, because it's hilarious. The Rimbombi Knockout against the South Steel. <laughs> Give me a Staryu. Please, 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 Staryu. Please, Staryu. Please, Staryu. Please, Staryu. Dang it. I mean, we can knock out anything that comes in now if he doesn't end me. If I had a Guzma here, that'd be really cool as well. I can maybe get Ultra Ball, Lele, Guzma, knock out Soul Valley. Because uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have a Choice Band as well. So we can knock out Soul Valley here. Uh, he needs a DC though. Oh, Sokaleo Prism, that's cool as well. Let's see if I can get me a Soul Valley. I mean a Guzma. I have two more in the deck and I have a Lele. I have two Lele's in the deck actually and three Ultra Balls. We have a, you know, we have, we have a lot of chance, that's what? How many, how many top decks outs is that? That is a one, two, three, four, five. That's five outs. <gasps> no, my Diglett. My Diglett. That's actually really annoying. I can manually retreat, but I still want that Guzma. Okay, so let me think. Let me count the numbers. Four ultra, three Ultra Balls, two Lele outs. I think that's the only way I can get it. I can't think of any other ways I could get it. Maybe I should play like a bunch of Rescue Stretchers. Maybe that's a really cool idea. Let me try that later. Uh, ooh, Blower is not what I wanted. What, what memory? That's a fighting memory. It's completely worthless. Uh, I guess we can knock this thing out. Just get more prizes. Um... Mm, it's a little bit annoying. We can retreat here into Dougie, and we have to draw really well, I think. Um, to, to hit 160, we have to hit 180, right? Which means I have to get two more energies. Let's space beacon a field blower because we're not going to need it. That's all my energies, bro, just to knock out this prism. Yikes. Uh, we can Mbombi, just to see what's going on in the deck. Uh, let's see, we have a 1-1 one, one line of Diglett Duck Trio left, so that's a little bit annoying. We have both Lele's, and oh, we had all the outs, bro. We could have drawn it, man, but no. You had to give me the 1 in, was it? Because we had 5 outs, so it's like, what, the 25? So we had a 25% chance to draw, bro, and you had to let me down like this? Ridiculous. Um, the thing is, right, like, now that I'm doing this, I'm probably not going to draw anything, unless I get Starmie. If I can get a Starmie off the top deck, um, this is 180, right? Did I do too many? I don't think so. Uh, if I can get a, if I can get a Starmie off this prize or Star you, come on, Star you, yes. All right, then we have a chance. We need Mount Cornet, and we have, we can get Starmie down, and we could have fun here. The thing is, I don't think I'll ever be able to knock this thing out. <laughs> We're gonna have to give it a couple, a couple sacks here, it's a little bit of sacks. Uh, ideally, he doesn't have any more Guzmans too. That'd be annoying. I'm probably going to end my opponent as well. Oh no! No! You jerk. You jerk. You can't even let me have fun. How dare you. How dare you. So I don't think we're ever going to be able to knock this thing out. Ever. But you know, we, you know, we had a good game. We had a fun game. Uh, HPs are a little bit too high for Duck Trio to come through. Uh, <laughs> but you know what we are, are going to do? We are going to throw in a couple more stretchers in this deck. Maybe... I don't want to drop any energy though, because as you can see, the energies are kind of useful. I will attack with Rimbombi. Just a 250 damage off, put him put him in range, eventually put down another Star You. Or eventually have another Star Me out, I mean. But if I had more stretchers, this wouldn't be that much of an issue. So I, I kinda wanna max out my stretcher count, I'm not gonna lie. We have Cynthia here, which is uh I guess better than N right now. I could also just not Cynthia or N. But if I get a Mount Cornet and just start loading up energies in my hand, that could be really nice. So I kinda wanna Cynthia. I mean we have two Evo sodas in the deck. I'm just gonna Cynthia here. There's my corner. Yeah, I just want to start loading up energies in my hand, honestly. Mm, is there anything else I need to do? I could Ultra Ball for another Duck Trio, but I don't need to do that right now. There we go, start loading up. I could also Ultra Ball for Starmie. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. We'll Pawn Shot for 50. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet 50 damage. So now that he's at 160 HP left, we have to have six energies to hit 185, which is possible with Mount Cornet and uh, Duck Trio. We can hit five energies with a Choice Band. Uh, we could hit six honestly without the Choice Band. So let's try to do that. Yeah. Now that we have the now now we can hit six with a Choice Band in case he switches here. 
Hopefully he doesn't get a Guzma. That could be really annoying because I need to keep my Starmie around. The Rumambi was MVP, bro. Oh no, no. All right, I'm gonna need, <laughs> I'm gonna need him not to not get a field blower. I'm gonna need to get me a Starmie potential. Okay, Lele is a Sycamore at the very least. <gasps> no, you jerk. Oh man, I almost called him some foul language, bro. I almost called him some nasty foul language. <laughs> I almost, I almost let a, I almost let a bad one slip, bro. It was about to be nasty. All right, so we're just gonna have to draw Mount Cornet and Starmie here, but that would only be four. Uh, which would be 120, 150 with a choice band. No. Oh, man. You just had to ruin my fun, dude. You just had to ruin my fun. This guy's a jerk. Just don't be like him, guys. Don't be like him. <laughs> don't be like this, dude. Uh, I mean, the thing is, if I play it on Lele, I lose, right? Because he can just GX me. I mean, I'm going to lose anyways, but at least this way I can have a little bit more fun. Is there any potential way I can do this? Starmie and Mount Cornet would give me four energies back. Four is 120, 150 with a choice band. I don't think there's a way I can do this. I don't have any way to like... Because then he can just attack me with that one, right? If I Guzma here, he can only hit 150. Um, then he comes in, knocks me out. So maybe I Guz... I can't Guzma and draw though at the same time. I don't think there's a way I can win this. I'm going to play Cynthia just to like see what I can do. But it doesn't look like it's possible. Oh, there was another Metal Energy in the deck? Oh, because he shuffled a couple in. Oh, so it was possible. I just got literally nothing. All right, we're going to scoop this one up, guys. <laughs> we were close. We were close. Let's go ahead and throw in a couple stretchers, though. Let's throw in a couple stretchers. Uh, we were close. That was that was a close one. We could have had it. We could have had it. Um, but unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, Silvalli got the better of me. Silvalli did get the better of me. Um... I don't, I don't know. This deck's not good. <laughs> Duck Trio's not good. Don't let, don't let, don't let people fool you. Duck Trio's not that good. Uh, I kind of want to play more stretches, but I think this is good as it is here. I really don't need to keep the Evo Sodas around. I feel like it's necessary. Uh, two stretches. We'll, we'll try out two. We could, we could bring it up to three later. I could also just like cut an N and be like super aggressive. But I don't want to do that because if, ideally, if we have all of our Pokemon out, we, we don't need to cut an end. We could also play like a three-three line of Starmie, seeing how important it is. That could be fun. That way, we don't have to deal with prize Starmies. That could be the next thing we try. Anyways, let's play another game here, dude. But shout out to Rumbombi, bro. Rumbombi being the MVP of that match, putting things in range. If only I was able to attack. <laughs> we could play some like good Pokemon in this deck. Like we could play like the Krasma and like slowly set that up in the background. But that's just not as fun, bro. All right, we got a Bridget, which is really good. But other than that, we're kind of stuck, which is not great. Man, I guess we can Spelunk. And we're going first though, which is cool. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get down a comb, uh, not whatever it's called. Ooh, more star use. Uh, if I Bridget, that fills up my whole bench, which means I, I'm on I'm top deck mode, but that's fine. I don't mind. All right, let's bridge it here. Ooh, my other bridge is prized. Let's see what's prized this time. Okay, we have all of our, we have one Duck Trio prized. Uh, we have one Evo Soda prized. We have all of our energies. We have a Mount Cornet prize. No, we don't, we have them all on our hand. All right, cool. Um, everything else is kind of irrelevant. We have a Bridget, a Cynthia, and an N prize, I think. We have a lot of Draw Sports prize, which sucks, but we're gonna have fun here. We're gonna have fun this time. No one can stop me. Nobody can stop me in ha from having a good time. Can he knock me out in one hit? I don't think so. I'd rather keep Staryu's alive though, just in case. So we're actually gonna let, let Diglett take the rain here. And hopefully he doesn't knock out my combi. There my, what is this thing called? Cutifly, Cutifly, that's what it's called. Hopefully he doesn't knock out my Cutifly. And hopefully he can like end me or like give me a top deck or like a bunch of Evo sodas. <laughs> and I gotta remember, lightning resists metal. I forgot that when I was attacking a Tapu Koko yesterday. So. Okay, we, we got to know that, so we're going to need, like, probably one more every time. Oh, well, he's playing his own Evo Sodas. What's he playing? Bro, I like your deck. <laughs> I don't like his deck. I don't like Raikou very much. I don't like Lightning in general. Besides my Tapu Koko troll, like, four Super Soup Ups, four Ace Rolla deck. That's a fun deck. <laughs> Just never. It's it's pretty it's pretty good. I remember that was one of my favorite videos I've ever, I've ever, ah, I've ever uploaded. A lot of people liked it. You gonna bridge it too? You gonna get out of that Magnezone, bro? 
I'm seeing a, a, I'm seeing Evo Soda that makes me think Magnazone. Let me see those Magnemites, bro. Let me see those Magnemites. Show them to me. And let me top deck too. Because I'm going to have to Spelunk if I can't top deck. And I don't want to Spelunk. Spelunking is not fun. If I can top deck, I want to get a Duck Trio. That's the goal. That'd be nice. Uh, hopefully I don't top deck a Sycamore though. Because uh, I don't want to lose my Cornets if I don't have to. Oh, Zorak Pikachu. Zorak, Zorak Raichu, really? That's kind of uh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's a little weird. But like he has he has really good turn one. I can't I can't even argue that. I'm surprised he's not playing Pachirisu. Like honestly, that would be the deck to test right now. Pachirisu Raichu. I don't know if you need Zorak and Raichu, <laughs> but it's cool. I guess it's definitely no hate it. If you're playing Evo Sodas, I'm not against the idea. So we only have we're only gonna do ten damage here, and we're gonna get knocked out anyways. So I'm actually gonna do that there. Uh, this here. And uh, we'll hit it with a Spelunk, bro. Spelunk it up. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, here, here we go. Here we go. I cut down the energy count so this wouldn't happen. Alright, enemy now that you saw me Spelunk, bro. You don't wanna, you don't wanna, you don't wanna see what I top deck. Like, you, you're afraid of it. You're afraid of the, um, super energy search that I have in my that I have in my top deck. Yeah. Let's me search out ten energies. Thank you. Whew. The bluff. The bluff. Shout out to Spelunk. Even when it fails, it works. Alright, let's see if I can get some good good cards off this though. That's what matters. Evo Sodas, another Duck Trio, which is a little bit lame because I don't have another Diglet and it's actually really scary that I don't have another Diglet. Mm, or I guess I can get Rimbombi and just like start taking knockouts. See if I can top deck though, that's what matters. Alright, top deck mode, activate. Give me a... what do I want? Give me a Diglett. Or a Stretcher to get Diglett. Oh, you know, I guess that works. Uh, I can Evo Soda here my Rimbombi just to thin out the deck. And we can start doing the th searching, and the honey gathering. One, two. This will help thin out quite a good amount. We need some draw supporters. We need a stadium. We need a couple cards here. I would like more diglets as well, some stretches. Uh, even another Bridget wouldn't be that bad. Because we're going to have to stall for time, I think. We could hit him with more choice banded room bombies. I mean, that worked last game. <laughs> I did work last game. I think I'm going to hit him with uh, Lele, though, this time. It's a little bit, little bit more consistent. How about that? Uh, do we have any energies down there? We do not. Um, we need to uh, do five energies to hit 150. But with resistance, that would be a knockout, so we have exactly five. Let's go ahead and get to work. One, two, three, four, five. Go, Doug Trio, bro. Get this money. There we go. Now, uh, everything knocks me out. <laughs> everything in the world knocks me out because I'm a Doug Trio. But we have an end, which is pretty decent. So we can attach Choice Band to you, uh, attach another Metal Energy to you. Uh, you get two KO'd, which is a little bit annoying, but you at least put things in range, which is nice. And if I get a Guzma, I can knock out that Pika P. Choice Band of your own, huh? That could that be problematic, because it's right you can knock out my Lele. And Baton, dude, what is this power? What is this absolute power? I take it back, this deck is a masterpiece. <laughs> His deck is a genius. I have to actually leave soon. So we might actually only have one game today. I apologize, guys. I mean, it's Ducktrio. I don't know if you guys care. <laughs> if you guys care, let me know. And we can uh, we could do like a, I could do like a live stream dedicated to playing Ducktrio. And then I can upload that live stream to YouTube. How about that? <laughs> if you guys care a bunch. But I got to go soon. I got to, I, I really got to go soon. So it's a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is, right? This man is body bagging me with his Raichu Suzoric deck. He's got Wishful Baton and everything. I hope I get it. I hope I get a, a Field Blower. I don't need him keeping energies on the board, even though he's going to knock me out. I mean, Thunder is a problem, right? But he could take Recoil if he uses Thunder. So I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping that Thunder is a thing, honestly. <laughs> I'm hoping he recoils me when he attacks me with Lele. Look at this board, bro. It's a monster. Monstrous board, dude. <laughs> Oh man, it's funny. It's funny to me. Let me laugh. Let me laugh. Alright, we'll attach this. 
choice band here. We'll play N. Give me some diglets. I need some diglets. None of those are diglets. How am I supposed to win this game if I don't get diglets, bro? I don't get it. I just don't get it. I do my best here to get diglets, and I'm just not drawing diglets. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to attack with another Lele, and I don't have like a Magnezone to like abuse it. <laughs> oh yikes! Maybe he'll switch out and not knock out my Lele, and then I can knock him out with the Guzma. That could be cool. He has 100 HP left. Do I have any way to hit 100 HP? I don't think so. <laughs> Someone save me if you will. Bro, I gotta get dressed. I'm gonna be late. My boss is gonna yell at me. Ugh, man. Ugh, man. What you gonna do, bro? What you gonna do? Show me the way. Show me the way. Brother. Bretta, is that dead yet? I don't know. I, I I really like the meme. It's my favorite meme, like ever. But it's like it's already dead and it makes me sad. Look at this look at this dude, he's just loading up on energy here. I'm not a fan. Stop this. Stop all of this. Do manually retreat so that you lose these energies on the board. Please do that, please. Do that for me. As a friend, as a favor, as a buddy. No, I mean yay. Don't knock me out. And you can't thunder me when I don't have any duck trios out. No, stop this. <laughs> Leave me alone. Ah, I hate this deck. Why you gotta why you gotta be doing this to me? I'm just trying to have a good time. I'm just trying to have fun fun time with Duck Trio. And you gotta do this to me? Where's my level ball? Oh look, Ultra Ball. A little bit too late there, buddy. Uh, we can Guzma, I guess. We can Guzma stall the Zoark. Let me get a Diglet out. Is that what I want? Do I want Diglets? I guess I kinda want a Diglet, huh? Um We're just gonna we're just gonna do top deck mode, bros. We're just gonna do top deck mode. I can't really attack with Diglet because I can't afford to attack with Diglet. But like, who can stay active? I guess Staryu is the only Pokemon that I want to stay active, huh? Does he have a chance to retreat? Do you think he has Guzmas in hand? He's already used one, and he has he doesn't have access to trade right now. So maybe I can get lucky here. Um, let's go into you. You can come on out, buddy. I'll pass. After I use a Rimbombi. Boom. <laughs> Go Rimbombi, the monster. <laughs> I should have just attacked with Rimbombi, man. Now that we no longer need Rimbombi, I didn't think we'd no longer need it. But uh, that would have been cool. Maybe I should have played Mount Cornet and just start putting energies in my hand. That would have been bad. But I also don't want him to like end me and shuffle all my energies back. That could be annoying. Let's see what he does, though. Let's see if he has a Guzma in hand. Nope, I don't think he does. I think he's just gonna manually attach and pass, honestly. Oh, no, I, maybe not. Maybe he'll get into Guzma here. Maybe he'll knock out my Diglett, and then I'll have a bad time. <laughs> don't make me have a bad time, bro. No, why? These Everyone's a bully. Everyone's a bully. We don't win anymore, guys. It's like literally impossible now that he has that. Uh, I think we have enough time for maybe one more game. Let's go ahead and get one more game in. How about that? We'll get one more game. We didn't really do that much that game. Maybe we, maybe we can get ourselves a win. Maybe we can get ourselves a win. You know, Duck Trio's cool. Duck Trio's fun. But, but something tells me that Duck Trio is not competitive. <laughs> I'm getting an inkling. Some, some, I'm getting like a little a little, little taste of uh, the, the not good. That is Duck Trio. <laughs> Why do you have 60 HP, bro? You could have been so cool if you didn't have 60 HP. Why did Pokemon go, hey, we're going to make a really cool attack here, but make him have no HP? I'll do that Pokemon. Why you gotta hurt everyone's feelings? Like, look at Ducktro. He's look. He's he's like a Super Saiyan three Diglett. He's like he's like he's he's like the Ducktrio that's that 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 knows what it means to go beyond. And you gotta hurt him like this. Why you gotta hurt him like this? So we have a really good opening hand here. It's not bad, I should say. I don't want to say it's really good, especially since we're going second. But <laughs> it's not bad. Oh, we're playing against Vickaboo, bro. If my opponent whiffs Vickaboo setup, that's gonna be hilarious. I would like that. Let's do that. Whiff your Vickaboo setup so I can win, cause that'd be funny. Give me those Mulligans, bro. All right. Well, it's not what I wanted. He's got Zerkatree too. Is he playing like Vicka Zerkatree? Vicka Tree? Vicka Tree do? Zerkavolt? 
the Zerker Vault, Zerker Tree, or Zerker, I don't know. <laughs> but dude, Rumble Wires knocks out my Pokemon and Dex and thins me out. Let's not do this, man. Let's not do this. As you can see, the uh, the point of running Muscle Dumbbells in these past couple of games uh, would have would have been null and void because, as you can see, having 100 HP is just not enough HP. <laughs> It's a stage one. Why couldn't you at least give it like 120 HP? Make it like the incredibly annoying 130 HP that like that like nobody can actually hit in one hit for some reason. You could have done that, Pokemon. I mean, look at this board. I need to like grind up with some good decks again and like just win, because this these board these boards were looking kind of weird. We have a Diglett prized. We have a Starmie. We don't have a Starmie prize. Never mind. We have our own zone, though, and that's what matters. Um, we have a couple energy sprays. I think we have three energy sprays, I think. I don't remember. Um, so he's Spelunkin. Spelunk. Another Diglett's good. I'm gonna grab another Diglett here. No, the end, of course the end. I should have been Spelunked. But I think I was his only draw supporter in hand, to be honest, so <laughs> I don't know if me Spelunking changed anything or not. All right, let's get some good cards, good cards. All right, Evo Soda and Sycamore. Actually, this is not bad, because we can evolve into Ductrio, Evo Soda into the Rimbombi, uh, and play the Sycamore, and then hopefully get a bunch of energies in our hand and start taking knockouts. This thing is immune to special energy attackers, right? Or, yeah, so that means we can knock this thing out, but it, oh no. Well, luckily we have a lot of cards in our hand that we could actually use. But that's a that's a mean card. Now we have to take extra prizes, bro. You're gonna put my Duck Trio prize? You're a jerk. You're a jerk. Oh, let's get let's get Rimbombi. Yeah, we have a higher chance of getting Duck Trio than we do Rimbombi. Where's my Sycamore here? Straight up. Straight up. We're gonna draw that Duck Trio, bro. You think you can stop me in my Duck Trio love? You did. He stopped me in my Duck Trio love. I'm mad at him. Forever mad, forever mad, never gonna stop being mad. Never gonna stop being mad. Forever mad at this dude. This guy is an evil, evil monster. An evil, evil monster. How could you? How could you stop me in my Ducktrio love? I should have grabbed Duck. Actually, it doesn't matter because even if I grab Ducktrio, I wouldn't be able to knock him out. I only have four. So in the end, I don't think it matters too much and don't quote the song. And <laughs> we'll spelunk. Ooh, this is uh this is really bad. Because we're not getting anything we need. Uh, we'll grab this. Yeah. That's really bad. <laughs> We're in a really bad place here, guys. It's okay. We'll be able to shuffle with another Rumbombi play. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Oh, for some reason I thought that was a Guzma. That's fine. No, you can send the Just don't set up your Vicavolts. You don't need them. Is he playing Vicavolt GX? Because he's playing that DCE. So I think he's playing Vicavolt GX. This is really awkward. I can knock this thing out if I get a choice band and six energies, right? He's playing Vicavolt GX. That's crazy. Um, and he's going into oh my god. I can knock this out in one. Let me do it. <laughs> this guy's a this guy's a jerk. I have to end now, which sucks. But it's fine. It's better than like doing nothing, right? Hmm. Um, yeah, we'll end here. I don't need you having those energies in your hand, dude. I'm sorry. Uh, I could... No, there's two energies. I was about to say, I could discard one with Starmie. But uh, there's no point. Alright, we got Dougie. Dougie is here. We can, we can definitely knock him out this turn. Which is good. Uh, we can get more Duggies. But I think I'm gonna hold on to the Ultra Ball. To get the likes of Starmie. I mean, not to get a likes of Lele later. Uh, we'll just go ahead and Gold Rush. Gonna take that, take that one energy down there. Have fun with that. <laughs> and let's see. Give me my Duck Trio back. Give it back. <laughs> I want my Duggies. How dare you take away my Duggies? I need another Star You down. Especially when it gets to late game. Like right now we're fine, but late game it's gonna be really annoying if I don't get another Star You. So it's impossible for me to knock this out in one hit. Unless, of course, I uh, get real lucky. Like right now, actually, it's not that it's not possible. I have four in my hand. If I get if there's two more left in the deck, 
and I get two more from the discard pile, that means I'll have eight. And eight times three is 2,400. With a choice band, it'll be a knockout because he does resist. So, hey, it's possible. We got this. We can do it. We can do it. He'll take a knockout first, but we can get a revenge knockout, which is cool. Um, I will take that. We also haven't ran into any of our stretchers yet. So let's, let's go ahead and hit that 240 number with uh, Duck Trio, and then we can toss Rimbombi after that, because something tells me we're not going to need Rimbombi anymore. <laughs> but we do need to get Star Yu's down, so I'm going to have to try to find out. I'm going to have to try to get a Star Yu. Maybe we can top deck like a Ultra Ball or something. Uh, maybe like a Bridget, because we're probably not going to use a Draw Sporter. A Bridget top deck would be actually really nice, but I'm pretty sure our other, our other Bridget is prized. Maybe it was the other game, I don't remember. But these games, they kind of mix together whenever you're rushing. <laughs> Well, as long as you don't end me, bro, I'm pretty sure he just played Skylar, right? Isn't that what he just did? Dude, I need to pay attention. All right, so he has a Vickable out now, so you can start charging up his energies and start taking knockouts, which is annoying. But did you guys know Lele needs three energies to knock out a Duck Trio? <laughs> he needs three. Because we don't attach energies to Dougie. Stop this. Ooh, do you run out of other energy? Oh, never mind. So you can hit me for what? Super Zap Cannon or Gigatron? Oh, wait a minute! That GX attack! That GX attack can knock out everything, isn't it? The deck takes 60 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Bro! He can knock out all my Ductrios. That's crazy. Let's not have that. Let's not have that today. Alright, I need everything to go really well here. Ooh, we got the Bridget. That's actually super handy. Uh, we're gonna Bridget first. Uh, Star you, and that's it. No Diglets left, unfortunately. Alright, so Rimbombi, come through, give me two. Very nice. Starmie's gonna have to give me two more, which is also pretty nice. But we're gonna get a big knockout here, which is hilarious. Um, choice band. Uh, I guess we toss the Guzma. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need eight, so we have to toss the Guzma, unfortunately. But that's a knockout. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Super Saiyan. This is what it means to go beyond. I'm really tired. <laughs> we just knocked out 240 HP Pokemon with resistance. That's crazy. We just hit 200 and what, 70 damage? If you count resistance, that's wild. That's wild. Told you, man, this is what it means to go beyond. So we're going to need a lot of things now. <laughs> we can't really hit 200, I think. If we get Mount Cornet and Starmie, we can't hit 200, actually. Never mind. Oh, he's going to end me? That's fine. I don't need anything in my hand. Actually, having a Ductrio would have been nice. Because he's going to load up. Hey, Ductrios and Cynthia. What do you do? Don't have a GX. Ugh. Uh, stop this. Stop this. You know, it's going to be very hard to get another eight energies in my hand <laughs> this game. But he's setting this up, so I'll take that. I can actually knock this out. Uh, I need to hit 200, so I need a Mount Cornet, and I need two Starmies. I need more dig dig uh, Diglities out. Diggy, 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 diggies. Nice. Um, that's not a Mount Cornet, though. Uh, we can do this. Do I play the Cynthia, or do I dig for the second one? I think I play the second uh, Cynthia, because he can knock out Lele for game, and I don't want that to happen. Uh... Nice, 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 nice. The thing is, I don't have a choice band, so I don't think I get a knockout, actually. Uh, to hit 200, I only hit 180 with the resistance. Oh, no. It's no longer nice, guys. Things are looking a lot less nice. Because uh, he can knock me out in return, which is really bad. Which is super bad. Uh, we have two. We get two more. Actually, no, we can do it. Never mind. Because we already have two in our hand, so we're good. Uh, we have to discard a bunch of cards, though. Um, all right. So let's play Mount Cornet first. Uh, so we need seven, right? So seven, fourteen, twenty-one. Yeah, we need seven. Uh, we can get four more. If we toss two, that would be six. So we have to toss field blower and an energy to get enough. That would be exactly seven. I don't really want to toss the energy, but we're probably going to need Lele. This is why I want to play a three-three line of Starmie, bro. Screw this. I'm playing a three-three line of Starmie. <laughs> we're going in. We're going in the next one. I wish I could play like 20 Diglets though. That'd be that'd be the best deck. So we're probably still gonna lose this. But it was fun while it lasted. We managed to take a bunch of prizes. 
Dude, this is this prize thing right here is throwing me off. There's our choice band. Can he set up in one turn? He needs he needs to get like a DCE here. If he gets a DCE, he can actually set up in one turn. But the chances of us setting up in one turn are pretty low. They're pretty low. And his GX attack can actually knock out Diglets if he gets Diglets. All right, so we attach with a turn, so there's no way he can knock me out in this turn. Now, there's a chance that I could win. And that is if I get like a Guzma. I have one more Guzma left, right? So if I can Guzma up the Lele, I would have to hit 180. Uh, with a choice man, I only have to discard five. So between all these cards, I can actually win. So the thing is, right, I have to, well, if, if I get six, which I can get six, one, two, yeah, I can get six. So I can actually toss away the choice band and whatever I top deck and I win. <gasps> Bro, did I just win? Dude, dude, I think I just won. I think I just won. I think I just won. Bro, screw it, guys. When I said Dougie's not competitive, I was lying. It's the best deck in format. Oh, no, I can't win. No, there is a chance, right? I can do the math. I can do math. Let's do this first. One, two, right? So, I have to get five energies. Let me let me just get every energy in my hand I, that I can right now. How about that? Because I have to play Lele for thing. So, let's do this first. So that's five, right? So if I Ultra Ball away these two, Lele Guzma, that would be four. I have to discard one card to get six. No, I don't think I can win this turn. I don't think I can win this turn. That's unfortunate. Wait a minute, what if I have a, what if I have a Metal Energy in the deck? No, dude, if I had a Metal Energy in the deck, bro, that would've been it, that would've been it right there. But unfortunately I do not, so I don't think I can win. I don't think there's enough cards in my hand that I can make me win. Um, Cause if I Guzma right now, I would win. And I have one more Starmie left, right? Is there a way I can knock out the active? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 81, 60, 240, but he has resistance. So I'm still one energy short there. Uh, hmm. I have to switch out and he has to knock Guzma, I think. Uh, let me think about this. Lele, I have to hit 180. To hit 180, it's six energies discarded. To get Guzma, I'd have to discard two cards and then discard another one. That would be one, two, three, four, five. That'd only be five energies. Yep, it's impossible. We'll go ahead and switch out here and hope for the best, honestly. That's our only play. Uh, that's literally the only play. I can't, I can't. I can Guzma next turn. If he if he Guzmas me though, I'm... Actually, he could GX here and just win, I think. And he goes with me, so I think that's game, guys. I mean, we have a couple turns. Like, we can still get a, we can still. Oh, man, why you got, why you got to tease my heart like this? We could still technically get a draw supporter, or we can still technically get like a bunch of diglets down. We haven't gotten a single stretcher yet. Oh man, we were one card short from winning this game, bro. One card short. Just one card short, dude. That's really upsetting. That's like super upsetting that we were so close. All right, we're gonna go ahead and Sycamore, I think. And just hopefully draw the Guzma. I think that's our only play. Um, I could, well, hmm, if I Cynthia, I can get these energies back into my hand. I need, I need stretchers, like, really bad. I can't, I don't want to honey gather now. Let me sit there. There's our stretchers. Alright, so I can get two. Let me honey gather first, because I can get the last two energies out of here. Let me stretcher away some cards. The thing is, his GX attack can knock out all of our Pokemon, all of my things. So I don't want him to knock out all of my things. So um, let's Ultra Ball away some metals. I want to keep like a couple in my hand though, so I gotta keep that in mind. Oh no, I messed up. I forgot to stretch her first. I'm I am, I'm in a rush, guys. I'm sorry. That is my bad completely. Oh man, that's a, that was a huge fail on my part because he can always GX me. That's the issue. Um, that's what I'm trying to avoid from happening. Ah oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. I don't have a way to do this. He can GX me now, which is, the, which is the thing. Like, I'm trying to avoid him GXing me, but he can GX me and knock out my Diglett, which sucks.
Oh, I messed up super hard there. I guess we'll play it down and hope he doesn't do that. I mean, he can only GX me once, right? So, I can do this. If he doesn't GX me, then we have a chance. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, we can we can win. That's the, that's the thing that pisses me off the most, is that we can win. Um, let me mount Cornet, since I haven't done it yet. Keep some energies in my hand. Just try to load up as much as I can. And have I used... I can pollen shot. Let me uh, just load up my energies real quick. I need you to not switch out in GX, bro. That's what I need you to do. I need you to not GX. Is he gonna goose on me? That's so annoying. Why you gotta be so annoying, dude? Why you gotta do this to me, man? What do you grab? I didn't see. I'm assuming it's a Guzma, but let me just double check. Yeah, you got Guzma, of course. Of course. Why wouldn't you get Guzma? Freaking bastard. Oh, I'm so angry. <laughs> oh, bleep. I don't know if I... Whatever. 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 I could have won, and I threw it away. It's my fault. Actually, I don't think I could have won. Um, something tells me I still wouldn't have been able to win. Uh, but you know what? It was, it was cool while it lasted, I guess. It was definitely fun while it lasted. Um, hmm. Because he can still GX me. So what I'm going to need here is to draw the other Diglett. I'm going to have to draw the other Diglett and the Stretcher, and then make one of them active. Because I shuffled back in a... I shuffled back in a Ductrio. And we have Evo Sodas too. So let me actually do some shenanigans with that. Um, stretcher here to get one Diglett down. We have to make one of them active, and the other one on the bench. And then we have a chance, because we have a Guzma in hand. We got a get an energy. We'll Ultra Ball away the one energy, one Mount Cornet. And get the other Diglett. Because the other Diglett should be in the deck. Yeah, and we have the last Duck Trio. We can Evo Soto one of them. <sighs> okay. So we have a chance. It's a very small chance, but it's a chance nonetheless. Um get this to draw two. Start loading up. As long as he doesn't end me, we should be fine. If he ends me, that could we literally have to top deck. <laughs> and I know like putting energies in my hand is a bad idea, but shenanigans could happen to where that would stop me um, from being from being able to win. But literally, he can't knock out both the active and the bench one uh, if I keep one of them. Oh, um, if I keep one of them in my hand. Uh, hmm. I mean, dig that, I guess. I don't think it matters. Although maybe I shouldn't have done that because he could have ended me. Whatever. If he ends me, he ends me. It's nothing I can do. I have to just get lucky. Uh, what's he going to do here? Is he going to end? I literally just have to get lucky if he ends me. Oh, he's on Cynthia. Yes. We might have won this. We might have just won this. Because I only have to hit 150 against this now, which is just five energies. Oh, please. Please tell me I won this. Please tell me I won this, bro. That's crazy. Uh, he could have, you know, the other thing that he could have done was Guzman. I don't think he has any more Guzmans, but he could have Guzman up anything and then GX'd. And uh, then knocked out both of them at the same time. But I think we were able to outlast him. Unless one of his Guzmans are prized. Oh my god. Oh my god, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I think we managed to pull this off. I think we managed, we pulled it off, bro. The MVP, shout out to Diglett, dude. And it's really, this is like, this. if this was any other matchup, we caught, we probably would have won just because like, um, just because this is a 240 HP Pokemon we can't really deal with. But like, we actually managed to pull it off. Let's just get all of our energies in our hand, bro. We're gonna overkill. Actually, I could probably knock out the Vic Volt. <laughs> uh, but we're not gonna do that. We actually can knock out the vehicle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bro, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna knock out the Lele. Gold rush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hit him up. <laughs> 270 damage. Where's my choice band so I can make that an even 300? Yeah, bro. Shout out to Ductrio. Shout out to Ductrio. 
pulling through in the end. Dude, I wish that Diglett wasn't prized, man. This game would have been a lot easier if that Diglett wasn't prized. Bro, shout outs to Doug Trio, man. 790 damage dealt. That is the boy. You know what? Screw it. That's how we're ending the video. There's no, I am super late. <laughs> oh boy. All right, guys, this is going to be the video. Let me know what you guys think about the deck. Let me know what changes you would make. I personally kind of want to add seven more. Let me see. Seven more rescue stretchers, uh, 20 more diglets, and uh, a 3 3 line to star me. <laughs> What do you guys think though? This is a lot of fun. You know what? The first game was a, was a, was a failure, and I and I almost messed up that second game. I did mess up that second game, but we managed to power through. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Drop a like if you have not already. It's always greatly appreciated. Help jo join the Or Army by subscribing if you want to, of course. If you guys like TCGO content, let me know in the comments down below what decks you want to see me play next, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.